Liam Neeson, you better look out because there's a new person on the block, on the Jerry Action block with a certain set of skills in in the basket on the on the front of their gopher scooter, probably where they put the skills. G'day, it's Adam here again with another quick instant movie review for you. So tonight I saw Thelma. This film stars June Squibb as Thelma Post. She is a 93-year-old grandmother who loses $10,000 in a phone scam with a con artist pretending to be her grandson. Well, she doesn't take that lying down, oh no. With the help of her friend Ben, who lives in a nursing home, the two take his motorized scooter on a journey across treacherous Los Angeles to claim what is truly hers. As a prove to everyone that just because you're 93, it does not mean you're out. Uh, this film is based on true facts that um, writer-director Josh Margolin had happened with his then 93-year-old, now 103-year-old grandmother. Um, didn't quite go as far as, you know, uh, taking a motorized scooter and traveling across Los Angeles, but certainly on the uh, the idea of being swindled out of money. So this film uh, has June Squibb. Now, June is a 93-year-old lady, or she was 93 at the time, uh, and this is her first feature film starring role. So she is central lead performance, her first one after 70-odd years in the film industry. Um, she was recognized uh, for her uh, best supporting role in Nebraska back in 2015, but this is very much her first leading part, and she does an amazing job. This film is really fun. It's kind of like a... Um, uh, well, and there's a lot of winks to it, you know, the, the guys are sitting down watching a Tom Cruise running across the uh, the rooftops in Mission Impossible Fallout, and that really forms a massive part of what this film is trying to do, uh, show that Thelma is an action hero taking this scooter across the land to try and get her money back, and uh, and the impossible tasks put her in her way that are relative to her, um, you know, her age, really, and what she's able to do. Uh, there's some really great moments in this. There's also some poignant moments as well. Uh, there's lots of commentary about what it means to be old, things that you can do to stop those other people talking about you by closing the world down, by taking your hearing aids out. Um, you know, seeing your friends um, really just becoming... Um, you know, a little bit senile, um, you're losing who they once were. Um, and there's also an absolutely amazing performance by Richard Roundtree, who plays Ben. Now, if you don't know who Richard Roundtree is, he is a um, iconic performer who was uh, phenomenal in the 1970s playing Shaft. He did lots of other um, TV and film work as well, but Shaft is really what he was most well known for. And the irony of this situation is that, unfortunately, Richard Roundtree died uh, three months before this film was shown at Sundance Film Festival for its premiere, which just seems so very, very sad because he is absolutely amazing in this film as Ben. He nearly outshines... Um, June Squibb, um, but th the two have amazing chemistry, and it was just absolute pleasure to spend time with these two people on this rollicking adventure. Now, not everything in this built film is absolutely fantastic. Um, we have Parker Posey and um, Clark Gregg as the uh, overbearing parents of, of Danny. He's played by Fred Heckinger. We'll next see Fred in Gladiator 2 playing a very different role, but in this one he plays... Uh, Danny, the grandson to Thelma, and, or Fred is great in this film. Uh, he is really that right level of caring, not overbearing, um, understanding whilst, uh, y you know, helping, um, and a really nice role. It really, he really feels um, very um, realistic in his portrayal of a grandson trying to help his grandmother out of real true love. Now, Parker Posey's character and that of Clark Gregg are these overbearing, overbearing parents to Danny. They were just overbearing in total. I did not want to spend any more time in their presence because 
they were getting me quite stressed and they were they and I didn't feel like their comedy really worked it was kind of a bit forced and it was a bit manic and I don't know if it was improvised or what if there was a little bit of improvisation in here but I did feel like it, it didn't really work um and yeah that that was probably the the the, the thing that I found most disappointing was these uh, was the portrayal of these parents um, and whether or not it was realistic to the story that the director was putting out there from his experiences, potentially it was, but I just didn't find that their characters overly worked for me in this situation. And really every time I was with them, all I wanted to do was get back to, uh, the story of what, what Ben and, uh, and Thelma were up to with their red scooter. Um, this is a really fun film. It's got lots of winks to Mission Impossible. Um, it's a really poignant tale, but also just being a rollicking fun adventure. Um, yeah, I had a really good time with Thelma. It was a really lovely film to go and see. Um, very funny. Great film to see with your mum or with your dad or whoever, with any family member, really. There's nothing overly, um, you know, coarse with it. Um, it's just fun and, and it's also poignant. So it's got ticks all the boxes and June Squibb is amazing. Even if this is her legacy film, uh, which I certainly hope it isn't. I hope she makes some more films after this. She did an absolutely amazing job. So if you get a chance, see Thelma. It is, uh, I would probably give this one seven and a half out of 10. I had a really great time watching Thelma and, um, yeah, I, I urge you all to go to the theater and go and see it. I don't know why I quite talked like that at the end of the review, but I'm going to finish off speaking like this. Have a jolly good night. Enjoy. Maybe you'll spend it in the car like I am doing an English accent. But whatever you do, enjoy. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell complete strangers on the, on the street. Maybe you can put on a good English accent like I am right now. But between now and then, Enjoy your evening, or day, or middle of the night, and I will catch you all next time here in my car. Good show!